Why do we walk on two when we can crawl on all four? The answer lies in something much deeper than it seems. Let's find out. We all have had our fair share of crawling at a very young age before we could master the balance on just our legs. But why is it that chimpanzees still walk on all four? They are still the closest modern day relative to us humans, yet they seem to do just fine knuckle walking. So what is it that pushed us humans to stand upright and stay that way ever since? The answer, energy. Evolution is slow, yet it keeps making subtle yet crucial changes based on what works best for our bodies and the type of work we do. A study performed by three researchers from the University of Arizona, the University of California and Washington University in St. Louis examined differences in upright walking between four adult humans and five adult chimpanzees. Researchers taught the five adult chimpanzees to walk on treadmills. They walked upright on their hind legs and knuckle walked on all fours. The chimps wore masks that tracked how much oxygen they used. The researchers also measured how much pressure was exerted on the treadmill. This revealed which muscles the animals were using. The same measurements were taken for the four adult humans. The walking tests showed that chimps as a group averaged the same energy expenditure walking on all fours as they did walking on two legs. As a group, the humans used 75% less energy walking upright than the chimps used walking on all fours. Essentially, walking upright seemed to be beneficial because it saved energy. Humans tend to use smaller muscles like those in their lower legs and to take longer steps. This leads to improved energy efficiency. Not coincidentally, the chimps that took longer upright strides than their peers consumed less energy. The experiment's results illustrate how energy expenditure contributed to human evolution. Early humans who adapted to expend less energy walking upright are represented in the fossil record. Fossils show that some ancient humans developed longer legs, different hip structures or thicker leg bones consistent with modern day humans. These adaptations made upright walking easier and lessened the amount of energy required to walk upright. One more reason that was also on the more practical side as to why we now walk on two was revealed when researchers from the United States, England, Japan and Portugal spent weeks watching chimpanzees in their natural habitat to see how they would move about if they had to carry something. If they had a chance to grab a fistful of tasty treats before someone else snatched it, they stuffed the goodies into their mouths and their hands and ran to a safe haven on two feet. In fact, they were four times more likely to assume a human posture if the treats were particularly rare and the competition fierce. Over the course of many generations, our ancestors slowly developed the right muscles and the right skeletal system to facilitate walking on two legs. And that gave us a very different profile from the quadrupeds we left behind. Unfortunately, it also gave us aching backs and sore knees. But the gradual evolutionary changes, which had to take millions of years, brought a mixed bag. It made it possible for early humans to roam over vast areas picking low-hanging fruit and carrying supplies, tools and kits. It also made them appear larger and more intimidating. So that's about it for this video. Thank you so much for watching guys. If you've enjoyed this presentation and found it to be informative, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that like button for a bit of encouragement. As always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.